I will dance alone wherever I am. The rhythm follows. Whoa, whoa. She will dance alone. She is Macedonia's Yana Burcheska. And her song is loved by many. Should we talk about it? Let's do this. The studio version of Macedonia's Eurovision 2017 song, Dance Alone, sent fans into a tizzy. We were all wetting ourselves with excitement, talking about the fact that Macedonia might win. And then the live performances came around, and some of the hype subsided. We should point out that she is still testing the different effects, the microphone mm. effects, the synthesizers. So it's difficult to actually judge the live performance because it's been in various guises. It's not been on point, let's not lie. No. It's not been amazing. However, the studio track is still among my favorite. I love the message. You don't need other people to make the most of your life. She says that she'll turn the pavement into a catwalk. She'll dance alone. Sisters are doing it for themselves, and so is Yana. I find the music video incredibly touching. Old woman looking back at the recklessness of her youth through VR technology. You gotta seize those chances, y'all. And she is seizing hers with one of the best produced tracks of the year, Angus. And this is the issue, I think, is the production was so... There are so many effects in the studio version that it's hard to get back to the live vocal. And I mean, mm. this has been wrote a couple of times. I think she's not used to singing upbeat stuff. She's more of a valid However, <laughs> I think the studio version is tremendous. Yeah. And I enjoy it, and I think it's good. I don't know that it would, like, ever... I hit the principle, like, I came to it quite late, because I listened to it the first time, I was like, yeah, this is just kind of, like, dancey. But, you know, I think there is actually a place for female vocalists of upbeat tracks who are not necessarily the strongest vocalists. I mean, you look at Gatajani in 2011, um, Ella Fury, Ella Fury Youth, Greece in 2012. You know what? With backing dancers, you can work wonders True. on, and, like, backing vocalists. And I think it's a fun, upbeat song. The draw is not the best. However, it is before Malta, and I think that leading into a ballad will just make the song shine a little bit more. Which is no shade to Claudia Faniello, because I think she's great, but the yeah. contrast will be there that should help her. And easily, like, the best song they've sent this decade. Definitely. Oh, God, yeah. It's one of, if not the best Macedonian song ever at Eurovision. Um, yeah, the, and here's the thing. The song is great. The music video is great. Live, whether it's sort of odd awkward is she lip syncing is she not is like her voice right for the song all these little things the macedonian team are very good when they get to eurovision it feels like um we've had issues with staging before with macedonia daniel kajimakoski daniel kajimakoski yeah that was a huge issue apparently they have a different team doing Sasha the actual Jean staging Baptiste, is it not that's the rumor that Sasha jean baptiste is doing it we're not 100 percent certain on that but if so that is an immediate, like, handful of points going to you because she is the best person, other than um, the Greek guy at staging Eurovision Song. She killed it for Nina Sublati. She helped Donny Montel to be the best Baltic song Georgia. last year. Just so many elements as to why, yeah, Georgia, Midnight Gold. Anyway, these are all other songs. Back to Dance Alone. Um, yeah, Yana is very good. She is more suited to other type of songs live, I feel like, but personality wise she sells it mm. she is just so much fun every time we've spoken to her she is just lovely Angel. absolutely lovely and that does come across well on stage as well sometimes like she looks like she's having fun even if it's not going great in terms of like your, your vocals or the stage performance she looks like she's enjoying it and people at home will connect with that they will connect with the song hopefully the juries do too I still think this is definitely qualifying. Um, after that, I'm not certain. Um, yeah. 
She gets styling. In Amsterdam, I believe, she wore like a bright yellow outfit. Mm. She looked amazing, so mm. expensive. And her voice was deliberately kind of cartoony. It fits yeah. with the song in a very good way. Mm. Um, she, I think she has interest in becoming a TV presenter. And you could see her doing very well because she's got that effervescence, yes. that natural like bubbliness. I think staging is going to make or break this. Obviously, there'll be backing vocals to help kind of achieve the effects of the music video. Fair enough. Everyone mm. does that. But I think I would love to see an intimate setting, actually, kind of like in the music video. Because yeah. it's very poignant, actually. You yeah. don't expect a pop dance song to be mm. poignant, but this created an atmosphere that was very poignant um, and just really quite touching. And what's also interesting is this song kind of takes the 80s and pulls it into today. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes you've got to look back to move forward. And she does that very, mm. very well. Chris? I think it has a bit of like a Xenomania kind of mm. a bit of that vibe to it which has charted so well across so Europe um, especially in the UK I think that there will be definitely some countries that get really behind this because yeah. um, it's appealing both to a western audience and Macedonia does have a certain amount of regional sway yeah. and, and votes that will go that way and so, let's also be clear she's upbeat and yes, it's yes. been so often derided as a year of ballads, and then we had kind of like so. This was a revelation at the time. I yeah. think the music video is amazing, oh, so and you know, telling that sultriness into the performance, yeah. she could do incredibly mm. well. Like my thing with it is just one thing in terms of that like cartoony vocal, which does match the studio version. There's nothing holding her to do vocals exactly like the studio version. I mean, we know Joust, for example, won't it won't exactly be like it was at MGP or on the on the track because they can't really do the distortion and all those little things. So there's nothing stopping her from changing up like the vocal register a little bit, still suited to the song, but don't try and be a bit faint in a way. Mm. Yeah. Well, at Eurovision in concert at the welcome party, we met up in the bar and she was telling me they're still experimenting oh, with yeah. all of these things. And so it's definitely been a work in progress. I am keeping the faith because I think Macedonia wants to get back to the final. Oh, God. And yeah. they finally have the product. This sounds very expensive. Yeah. Very mm. expensive. Boris yeah. Milanov behind Polly Genova. He's behind this track. All the elements are there, and they're not going to have invested all of that just to drop the mm. ball at the last minute. Yep. No. I have a very good feeling that. The, all the criticism that's come in recent weeks will subside and that they will slay mm. live. In any case, we should go around and give our scores out of 10 with a justification. Angus. I give this a 7 out of 10 uh, because I think it is good. And when we scored it, as I say, like I kind of came late to the song. And while I recognize its merits, I don't know that I see it as top five material. Like, because we've seen in past years, like, juries don't tend to go for upbeat songs. And... While it is good, I don't know if it kind of sits there. Like, there's a certain benchmark for, like, my top, top, top. So yeah. I don't have that. However, if it has a good evening, like, I think it should sail through the semi-final. I'm not as convinced by people who are kind of writing off its chances. If she has a great evening and a great draw, I think she could take Macedonia to the top ten. I'm giving it a nine out of ten. Again, this was before the, all the live performances that we saw, and maybe that would have swayed me. But again, I'm kind of bouncing back towards, actually, I think everything will be fine on the night. And ultimately, it is one of the best packages in the studio version. Mm. And Yana is a good performer. We should not take that away from her. She is a seasoned performer. She was chosen for a reason by mm. the Macedonian team. Mm. So let's not act like they've sent some no-hoper. She is oh. very, very good. She will get it right. And I suspect that Macedonia will have a good night on Saturday. I don't <laughs> think that it's going to be a winner or top five, but I think mm. it'll be respectful. I think like Macedonia's best ever finish is in like eleventh or twelfth. Yeah. Hopefully, it can do better than that. Yes, it's pulling Macedonia back into the game, restoring their confidence, mm. setting the groundwork for yeah. the future, and that is a success already. I am casting out the live performances because things are still works in progress. Oh, really? And I judged this on March 27th, like the rest yep. of you. Ernst & Young, our accounting firm, insists we get in our scores by then yeah. so they can do all the averages and verify the validity, etc. My score was a 9. Now, I've got to say, and I've never actually expressed this, so that this is taking a lot of courage, because I love the song. I'm a hype beast. I'm behind this. But right before the bridge, I do get a bit bored for about a split second. But then she comes in and, and says, I let it go out, out, I let it, and it saves it. You know what I mean? Like, mm, so yes. right when I'm dipping, she pulls it back. Yeah, and no. so staging can erase that all together. And you know what? It's, it's really bold and brave of them because they had Calliope and basically relied on like old school quality. This is yeah. like the future. Yes. It is one of the most sonically forward looking tracks this year. And 
Yeah, I think, you know, it's maybe not Scope Year 2018, but it builds momentum. Yes. yes. And that is so lovely to see. Of course, we are not the only movie jurors. There are 38 on the panel this year all over the world, and they're in countries from Croatia to Australia to Ireland to Finland mm. to Romania, and they've also voted. And the average score across all 38 people <laughs> is a 7.79. That's quite good. Yeah. I mean, for Macedonia, that's incredible. Let's be fair. Like, Macedonia never have sent a song, I think, that's had such a good reception. Not only yeah. from the Wee Wee Jury, because, again, anything mm. over seven is good. 7.5 is really good. But Twitter, social media, everybody seems People to People love it. And it's great when mm. you see a country that doesn't get that reception yeah. get that get reception. That kind of thing. So... Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you think that we're headed to Skopje next year? Do you think that this is Macedonia's best ever entry? Let us know here on Weebie Blogs. And make sure that you will not be dancing alone. Share your thoughts with everybody else down in the comments section below. And if you don't want to comment below, you can also comment on our app, which is available on iOS and Android. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you miss any of our content. <laughs> that app is free. There are no excuses. No. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.